Well, Colorado made history today, becoming the first state to cap co-pays on insulin. Some diabetics have been paying between $600 to $900 a month on the medicine that they need to survive. Dylan Thomas was in the governor's office today when this bill was signed to Dylan. The bill was, of course, designed to help thousands of people, but it was drafted in honor of one man. Dom Karen, that man's name was Murphy Roberts. He was a type 1 diabetic who passed away just three years ago. His brother, State Representative Dylan Roberts, made it his mission to make sure other diabetics in Colorado could afford their medication. And today he was front and centered with his mother to watch that happen. Today we will finally declare that the days of insulin price gouging are over in Colorado. The room packed with Coloradans impacted by diabetes. Governor Jared Polis made Colorado the first state in the nation to place a price cap on insulin copays. To honor Murphy's memory and, of course, for the 400,000 Coloradans who live with diabetes every day. In the past 20 years, the price of insulin skyrocketed 700 percent. But with the strike of a pen. And it is now the law of Colorado. Governor Polis capped copays for those with private insurance at $100. And that's compared to some people who are paying $900 to $1,000 out of pocket every month right now to get the insulin they need to survive. Representative Dylan Roberts sponsored the bill shortly after losing his brother Murphy, a diabetic. My little brother Murphy was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was 10 years old. Just looking at the price tag of those insulin vials coming in, I, I knew from the, even that early age uh, how big of a burden this could be. With his mother in the room, Roberts watched this bill become law. Though the law wouldn't have saved his brother, it would have made care more affordable. The same benefit thousands of Coloradans with diabetes will now receive. I think he'd be really proud, he'd be really happy, and uh, you know, it's too bad he can't be here to, to see it, but uh, you know, it means a lot that the governor you know, said his name in there before he signed it. The new law also tasks our attorney general with investigating the three companies that currently make insulin and why those prices have skyrocketed. The governor and the representative say this might just be the tip of the iceberg, meaning there could be more investigations and laws regarding other medications as well. Live at the state capitol, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Dylan, thank you.